Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of shorts. So this is a beginner friendly tutorial and to make the patterns that I'm using in this video I've linked a video down below um, which shows you how to do that. So to make these shorts you're going to need at least one meter of fabric and um, the patterns for making the shorts an 8 or 10 inch invisible zip or visible zip and um, pins and a pair of fabric scissors. So to start you're going to want to iron your fabric and then fold it in two but make sure that the back of the material is facing itself so that the front if there's a pattern on the front is facing towards you and then towards the table. So on the folded line um, place down your facing patterns and pin them in place. Okay so when you're placing the pattern for the shorts um, use a pattern if there is any on your fabric to help you keep the patterns straight. So when you're done pinning down the pieces, uh, cut them out and also remember to mark in your notches. So now using a pen or some tailor's chalk, make sure that you mark in your darts, but you also have to make sure that you get it on both sides of the fabric. So taking the front pattern, lay it down on top of the back pattern, but make sure that the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. Okay, so using your notches as your guide, pin the side seams together. So don't forget to leave a gap for your zip on the left side leg of the shorts. And then you're going to want to sew a one centimeter seam allowance the whole way down the side of the leg. Okay, so now taking the two pieces from the inside of the leg, using your notch as a guide, pin these together and then you're going to sew one centimeter seam allowance the whole way down. So once both legs are sewn together, iron all the seams flat. Okay, so taking both the left and right inside leg, pin them together making sure that the seams are aligned with each other. So pin the whole way around the back and the front using your notches as a guide. So now sew one centimetre seam allowance the whole way around. Okay, so now I'm going to do my darts. Usually I do this at the beginning, but for some reason I left it till now. Yeah, taking your dart notches and that point that you marked in with the pen or with your tailor's chalk, you're going to sew at an angle down to that point. And you're going to want to do this for both legs at the front and both legs at the back. Taking the two facing pieces, pin the right side um, together and then sew along that, but leave the left side open as that's where you're going to be putting your zip. To insert the zip, I highly recommend that you pin it and then tack it in place um, as it's just going to make it so much easier to sew it. Um, pin the top of the zip to the top of the shorts on both sides. I will do an in-depth tutorial on how to sew in an invisible zip very soon. So don't forget to use your zipper foot when you're, when you're sewing in the zip. So once the zip is sewn in place, uh, close it up to make sure that it's even on both sides.
taken the facing and the shorts, pin them together using your notches as a guide again, and then make sure that both the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. And then you're gonna to wanna to sew um, a one centimeter seam allowance the whole way around. Okay, so once it's all sewn together, iron the seams flat and then you'll notice that the front of the shorts will roll back just slightly, um, but this is actually because I've put a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance on the front pattern of the shorts. And this just helps to prevent the facing from being seen on the front of the shorts. Okay, so to hold the facing down, I'm going to sew the seam allowance to the facing. I'm going to try and stay as close to the waist seam as I possibly can. Okay, so now you're going to want to cover the zip using the facing. All you have to do is simply fold over the facing on top of the zip and make sure that the print of the fabric is facing down. Um, using your zipper foot then sew as close to the zip as you can get. Once that's done, you can cut off the excess zip to get rid of the bulk. Now you can turn it the right way around and test the zip again. So the last thing that you need to do is the hem and I've actually added a three centimeter hem uh, to these shorts. So first you're gonna fold over one centimeter and then iron that flat. And then you're going to fold it over again by two centimeters and iron that flat also. Okay, so getting as close to the edge as you can, just sew the whole way around the hem. When you're finished, iron the entire shorts and then you're ready to rock them. So you might notice uh, throughout this video that I've left my seams raw and this is actually because the fabric I'm using doesn't really fray um, but I would recommend if you're using um, fabric that frays I'd overlock it with the overlock and setting on your machine or use some bias binding. And then here is the finished pair of shorts. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button as it really helped me out and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!